Another classic. Oh, uh, let me introduce the Latvians. Francis Gustav Latsis, also a part of this team. New addition. I and like start it. to play better. Start to play better. Big body cleans the glass. Hell well, of let's get to it. Let's just enjoy this one. Dr. Strange, Strahinia. Strahinia, up fake. Gives it up to the beast. Broncula. Voila. Wait a minute. He doesn't get it up in time. Official Marco Smeeker, ladies, he says so. This game will be officiated well. Marco Smeeker, ladies, and Tetilia Taunt keeping an eye on these two Titans clashing. Las Manas left his feet over to the maze. That was too many steps in that choreography. He'll have a seat. He'll have a, to have a discussion with Ref Marcos first. They were looking at each other like, what are you doing? It's the start of the game. Stop talking. No warning just yet, though. Look at the Maestro. Dejan Maestorovic, the game's all-time two-point leader. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. This man is masterful from the two-point arc. Again, one of those fallaway shots to off balance, and he is so good at that. All he got is string music on his playlist. Dejan Maestorovic looking for a fifth gold medal. Got to get through the semis first. Yeah, think about it. This game could have been a final. Oh, absolutely. Without a question. Dr. Strange, no hesitation. That's hydration. He's wet from the left wing. Yeah, Dr. Strange, early game, bling it, bringing out his sling ring, doing that magic. Yeah, buddy. See, I would have never came up with that, boss. I'm sorry, right. you got to go watch yourself some Marvel movies. Catch up in mustard. Oh, in the meantime, my God. He put it in his face. From the left wing, that is Las Manis. Yeah, this is going to be a punch out. Both teams are going to bring their A game and try to outshoot each other, too. It's been a minute. Some quick scoring at the start here. Serbia. That's what we're hearing in the crowd. Miezis. No face time that time. But a clear lane for takeoff. He will get the scoop to go. The Latvians are within one. Kyle Montgomery, Boss Rosendahl in your ear. Have no fear. The Manimal hands it over to Dr. Strange. Oh, but he gets nothing in the lane. You now, Batman trying to come alive. Batman in the corner. Off the iron. There's a whistle, though, underneath. And that will be called on Serbia, their third. But you, you made a good point about Serbia and uh, how they utilize those fouls. Yeah, they utilize fouls to try to stop possessions, stop momentum, and prevent scores. They see fouls as a resource in the game. They get up to five or six, play very physical at the start, and then they kind of keep their hands off of you afterwards in the hope that when they have an advantage at the start, they can get the score up. So far, though, three fouls, scores almost tight. Tight early as we expected it. Bronkula, he does not hit it, neither does Dr. Strange. He will get the whistle. Strahinja Stojicic again coming into this contest, averaging a blazing 7.4 points per game. He's coming into this tournament on the heels of back-to-back -back MVPs, playing for Team Ubuishan NE on the Pro Tour. Number one in the world, back-to-back -back years. And he's hearing the MVP chance again but that one's gonna rattle off the iron now las manas batman out to chavars chavars nice fake he'll share it with the batman he says take that back man manimal ate up that shot i see you boss yes. i mean bars i gotta start calling you bars again dr strange he is feeling it. 6-3. Oh, but Latsis gets some laces, and Latvia's ain't going nowhere. Wow, Latsis, he hit a couple of big shots yesterday as we look at the Manimal's block. He hit a couple of big shots yesterday. I'm very impressed with his defense so far, but he's come alive offensively now in the last couple of games. That is without a doubt. What a 
What a great shot. He had a hand up. It did not matter. I think. Uh, he got teed up, though. Yeah, they got flop. teed up. Uh, Latvia, that is. Majstorovic, a 93% free throw shooter. Make that 92 after that one. <laughs> it's going to go down slightly. Majstorovic averaging five points per game uh, throughout this tournament. He's just 6 of 19 from long range. He's going to let Brockovic do the shoot. And that is not a bad idea. Oh, Miezis taking it right at Majstorovic. They got a nice little rivalry. They traded some game winners over the years, that's for sure. Batman, he'll try to get around. Serbia holding a 6-2 to two advantage in national competitions over Latvia. But I remember back to 2017, Boz, in Netherlands. Yes. Where we saw this Latvian team come of age. Back then, Norris Miezis had braces. Yeah, they yes, beat, he did. They beat Serbia in overtime en route to their uh, first and only European title. And Miezis is going to get called for the foul there. Yeah, but think about it. These teams have matched up so much over the years on both the national team level as the Pro Tour. They know exactly who they are and who the opponent is. This will be a fight. MVP chance here for Fahina Stojicic. Well, the Serbian delegation must like him. They got reason to. Nice hustle. So TV timeout. And Strahinja better be careful. He's having a conversation with official Nicolaitis, a very spirited one. So far, it's been uh, everything that we would expect out of a Serbia-Latvia contest, a back and forth affair. Brankovic shooting the two balls so, so well here in 2023, nearly 50%. Oh, Batman lost the handle on it. Just couldn't quite squeeze it. They turned it over to the Serbians, who have been the most efficient team in the tournament, undefeated. Mike Stortovic, he's going to come around the corner. Oh, look at that feed. The Manimal finishes the dish. Lasmanis. Does not knock it down. Here's Drakovic. Majstorovic, no. Vasque can't track down the rebound as Miezis will set up shop left wing. He's got Vasque trailing. He says, come on out here. I've got something for you. Two-piece combo. And Latvia is within one. Oh, boss. It is one of those games. Every time they get together. So much pride on the line here. Between these two rivals, you see the contact up top. Four fouls apiece under six minutes to go. Here comes Dr. Strange. Strange. Oh, he cannot feed the manimal. Not that time. Lotsis. He sneaks in, gets the bucket, no problem. Strange in the lane. He spins. Majstorovic, well off target. Chavars will corral the rebound. He gets, nearly gets the ball back, but no. That will, not, to us. that will not be happening. That's right, it's coming right at me and Boz. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I did to Boz one-on-one -on -one yesterday. I almost <laughs> dunked on him, but that's a story for another day. Yeah, yeah, you better hope there's some video footage of that. <laughs> <laughs> Brankovic to the maestro. Back to the maestro. Too long. 
Lotsis will quickly get it down to Batman. And he's quick to the cup. Maestro driving, runs into some traffic, and will not make that one. Oh, Lasmanis created some separation, but he can't knock it down. Neither can Lotsis. So a couple of wide open looks. It's weird. Both teams feel like they're not firing on all cylinders. That might just be the defense out here, though. It's just a gritty game. Vasque thought about that, too, for a second. Instead, he's going to drive Brankovic. As the Serbians have gone a little cold from two range. Wait a minute. Dr. Strange, a double shot of Rakia. Miezis on the baseline. That's the right flavor scoop. Also a foul here. Well, I don't know about that. It looked like a foul, but not a lot of contact on that. We did see a call, though, so bonus points here for Miezis. And Miezis and Las Manas, they, they're used to doing the heavy lifting. Both averaging seven and a half points per game throughout this tournament. And that free throw from Miezis will put the Latvians up front. They're trying to unseat Dr. Strange, but he's in a whole different world right now. My goodness, that man can just go up another level that we've barely seen whenever he needs it. The reason why the MVP chance out here, though. Oh, my goodness. Stojicic, Givari. Dr. Strange in a multitude of madness. Oh. Trying your story, Chisip. He, he's been blazing from beyond that two-point arc, not just in this contest, Boz, but all year long. He's shooting it at 45% from beyond that two-point arc. He has been absolutely different. Incredible. And we've seen him in one or two games this tournament already just go up another level where you think he's at his max, and then he just takes shots like this and gets him to go down, which is something else. He is a shooting star. Get it? Yes. And I misquoted his numbers. That's on the world tour where he's shooting 45%. Boz, like you said, 57% from beyond terrific, that two-point yeah. arc. Mike oh. Stortovic, he can't get that one to go. Smart play by Brankovic, though, driving, turning, getting Mike Stortovic to look, but on the other end, oh. Chavar is defended well by the maestro. Serbia trying to maintain his lead. Oh, he had Chavar's all shook up. Why he did that, 17-14, and Basic, We'll get whistled for Serbia's sixth foul. 3-12 to go. Another look at that lay from the legend, Majstorovic. Incredible body fake. That sent him back to Riga. <laughs> Osmanis almost hit that one from Riga. But it spit out. Vasquez to Brankovic. Whoa. Miezis is going to hit the deck hard, and he is, he looks like he's really shook up. Miezis is tough as nails, so for him to be down like that, you know that he's, uh, he must have took a real shot. Yeah, that's, I couldn't see a replay because we got a little, a little glare on our screen. Let's check again. They might not show it, though. Yep. Well, Miezis is slow to get up and he's holding on to his nose and, uh, scoring leader so far well, look at Stojicic 11 points already in this game the aces and Osman is carrying the torch for the uh, Latvians they have to compete with a uh, an incredible supreme sorcerer out here though so the supreme sorcerer as y'all know Dr. Strange bars Rosendahl 
it's actually Sorcerer Supreme, to be honest with you. But it's all right. It's all right. Listen, you just remixed it. That's all right. Yeah. They're going to uh, uh, take a closer look at this. Uh, official Dalton, official Nicoletis, just to make sure that uh, that foul doesn't need to be upgraded. Or actually, I got to Was a foul called there? I think so. It might have, yeah. And it's going to be upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul. They took a look at it, and that's the determination. So that means two free throws coming up for Norris Miezis. Huge, huge free throws for the other superhero. On the first, this crowd is not making it easy on them. Yeah, they're not, but Miezis has been in this position before. He needs these. He gets one, and that's enough to make it a one possession game. As two points separate them with 2.51 to go. Drakovic sent Miezis to the next episode. That was, ooh, that was a jabby jabby. That's the second body fake we've seen that sent somebody off the Latvian team all the way across the court. Just surgical play here by the Serbians and a lot of uh, emotions, I guess, on the Latvian side. A little bit overzealous on those defensive possessions and it, it's costing them right now. That is absolutely right. But this Serbian team is shooting to kill. Of course, Dr. Strange set the tempo. But Brokovic has got a one to go down, as has Mike Stortovic. Here's how the game is played out from that 16-14 score. The Latvians have been outscored 3-2 to two as Serbia is on the brink of going for gold again. They're going to try to set up the maestro, and he goes down and out of bounds, and he says, my bad. So here we go as the Aces will try to stay in front of Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, not that time. Chavar is all alone. They'll take advantage of that easy bucket. Now defense will be the key for Latvia. Can they stick with Dr. Strange? No way. Game point. Serbia. Miezis misses that big two. Now the world number one has one point to score. He will feed the manimal. Vasic, no, he's going to get called for three in the key. Yeah, that pass took a little bit too long. Oscar caught that and couldn't finish it in time. Latvian still in this game, though. They have to get a stop after this. This is where the bat signal needs to be in the sky for Latvia. Lasman is perfectly capable of making a big play, but he's got to stop the maestro as the Serbians go tumbling down. Foul called on the play. Yeah, that's going to send one of the best free throw shooters in the game to the line, so this might be it for the Latvians. Dejan Majstorovic says, y'all going to have to go for gold another year. Serbia moves on to the gold medal game. Latvia will play for a bronze. Another tight battle between these two rivals. And the crowd is going wild. I'm not sure what dance that is. 
<laughs> but Vasic is, is having a good time, as he should. The Maestro is going to go celebrate with some of his fans. As Vienna is feeling a whole lot like Novi Sad right now. There he is with his baby boy. Dad is happy. Let's get it to Boz Rosendahl over there with the base. Marco Prokovic after that big dub. Marco, it's, it's tough to hear me, so get a little closer. Uh, are we in Vienna or Belgrade right now? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. First of all, big respect to Team Latvia. They're one of the best teams so far in the past five years. And I just want to say thanks to these beautiful fans. They are amazing. I'm stunned. Hey, look at your look at your buddy over there, Starhinia. He went crazy this game. Talk about his game and talk about your focus going into it. Uh, he's a crazy guy. He's our uh, best offensive player, and we trust him. He trusts us, and that's what we can see on the court. He's amazing. Hey, back to back to the World Cup finals for you. What are you feeling? It means a lot. We need one more step to go. We, we want to, to defend the title, and I hope we will do it. All right, well, congratulations and good luck in the finals, man. Haide. Haide, indeed. They are in a hurry to snatch another gold. They're on a gold rush. Serbia 